So this is my uh, secondary PC and I'm going to upgrade this with uh, primary PC parts which I just swapped out on the previous video which is gonna be this motherboard it's an Asus Crosshair 5 Formula Z it's, it's actually a better motherboard than the current one which I have but this has only DDR3 RAM support while the other one has DDR4 so that's the change let's put this aside and the CPU is already in there that's the old one I'm not gonna even take it out from there that's an FX8350 uh, so uh, it's, it's good uh, I really miss these USB slots which it has it has so many of them and I also miss these SATA port, ports uh, which has eight of them the other motherboard has only six of them so and it's going to get whoops RAM upgrade that is 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance 1600 MHz RAM DDR3 like I said so currently has pretty crappy cooler which I'm not gonna swap out but uh, let's take this away from here Uh, it's not gonna have a new graphics card because I don't really play on this one, but this is still decent It's a GTX 680 Asus. It's one of the best ones so but the cooler I'm not sure if this is gonna actually work for this CPU, but well And it has only four gigs of RAM which I can take out right now This is some uh, <laughs> old RAM. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that because it's not gonna have a place now this is only uh, 1333 so get rid of that and then I need to take this mess apart because this really is a mess look look at the way my SSD is in there it's it's like just somewhere hanging in there but <laughs> I should use this as a primary case it's an Lian Li B80 I think it's really cool guys it has like uh, I don't have the key in there it has like three huge 14 by 14 fans in there one fan in there up there I actually wanted to put the 68 uh, SLI in here but I have power supply issues I wanted to take it out from the primary PC but on another video you will see that the connectors were a little bit wrong so namely these connectors are wrong because um, 680 which I have 980 god damn it it takes uh, two of the eight slots like this but this is like uh, one goes into the power supply and the other goes into graphics card so it has one of the eight ones and other one is just the six one it doesn't have this extra pin in here so unfortunately I can't use it in there I thought that uh, these connectors are very similar that I could use them like take it from the other power supply but I can't because the pin layouts are different and I'm pretty sure that something's gonna go wrong so I'm not gonna risk that but um, well technically you could use converters blah 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 but whatever whatever I don't need a SLI in here okay so uh, first thing let's get this mess out of here like the motherboard and all that so and once I undo it then I have to hold it by my hand come on you kidding me what the hell is this Jesus, I really put some strength in there, put your back into it, <laughs> okay, I should not be doing it like this because I have like motherboard right in here under me, so not a good idea, but that's okay, I'm a professional, don't worry about it, <laughs> what is this, yeah, you're thinking what I'm doing with that thing in here, but are you freaking kidding me? But this is professional, even though it doesn't look like it, this one here. Because a lot of people are breaking their rackets by just hanging the card from it, so... I mean... Yeah, really professional. Mm. Yeah, do the same thing. <laughs> oh my god, this, this, oh shit. Oh, I mean really, shit. Oh god. So what I managed to do is, I still have the... DVI connector at the back and finally it's it's out so there we go whoops that's the um, direct CU2 top it's it's pretty good card it overclocks pretty well and stuff it's really good cooler and stuff so uh, I have another 680 somewhere oh shit that was not good don't do that 
Uh, right, everything has to come off from the motherboard, all the connectors. This is a really huge gauge. Gauge. Case. I was looking at the hard drive gauge things and said gauge. What the fuck is wrong with it? <laughs> anyway, this this hard drive gauge in here is really good. You can put like tons of them in there, and you can even put the heat sinks on them. I actually have two hard drives in there with heat sinks, so. I think this has to come out from here. That's a USB free controller because this old motherboard I have in there it doesn't have USB free slots. So now I have this free. Got nothing to do with that. And well, the motherboard has to come out from there. That's gonna be a nightmare, really. But well, I'll manage it, I guess. I'll probably just undo the screws and just leave them from the top and then just hold the motherboard and take it out like this so. and that's the last screw yep or not there we go it's out should have connected the wires first disconnected them in but <laughs> I don't know why I didn't even do that And that's the package in here. Look at that. It's best to hold it from the heatsink because it has to be solid in there. That's Silent Night 2 Asus. It's it's pretty decent. It should cool it well, but I don't know. We'll see. So the next step is to get rid of the screws. <laughs> is to see where all these uh, brackets go on the new motherboard, like these things. I need to take these out and put them in in the right place so I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back to it actually I'm gonna put the motherboard in there and then so I applied this uh, liquid ultra as you can see so uh, check the video if you want to know how I did it so and now I'm gonna put this uh, silent night on it and that's it just poke this in there da -da 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 -da. Right, um, there's the silent light bracket. This is one of the worst brackets ever. Where's my screwdriver? Uh, it, it really is uh, these plastic parts. See, one of them is like taped up and it's like it like broke in half and stuff. I absolutely hate that. So, and of course, oh come on, I put one of these in the wrong place. I don't know, Asus made this and that's that's like one of the worst brackets ever. But then again, AM brackets are always bad, so but this is like ultra bad. It really is. It's it's like these plastic pieces they are absolutely no good for anything, so but let's try to put it in here nevertheless. These plastic bits will be metal, it will be actually good, so it's it's not too bad. It's touching the motherboard, but that's okay, it's it's not touching too much. Not touching too much. <laughs> Always um, tighten it di diagonally, like car wheel. So you don't twist it. If you like put it on one side, then it... Well, I can't explain it, it's just simple physics. So do it always like this. Not too much, because these brackets are plastic, but... Okay, that's in there, so let's put the wha, cooler on. Where's, where is it? I don't know which way it goes. A zoo, silent night. Uh, oh shit, I almost dropped it. Airflow, which means it has to go that way. Uh, I already cleaned this, so this is clean. And this thing doesn't work for aluminium, so just remember that. And we're gonna just sit it on top of that, and that's it. Now, we need this thing, <laughs> and let's let's put this on. Don't put it on this way because I all oh, oh, oh crap! I think it's gonna go on the ram. Is it? Oh sh shit! Let me see. No, I think I'm gonna put it in there. Maybe I have to take the ram heatsink off. That's that's not a good idea, but. 
might have to do it. So, uh, bracket goes in there, wire comes out. Fucking wire, get out of my way. And there we go. It's, it's in place. So, we have the cooler and the motherboard. So let's let's see if I can actually put the RAM stick in here because that's that's a tight fit. Do, 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 tight fit. Now it, it goes, it goes, I think. Does it? I can't see. Could check crap in there. I hate these RAM slots. Who designed these? What, what is it doing? I mean seriously, who designed that crap? Like, why, why is it like this from one side? See what I mean? This has that in here. See? These click things. But the other side doesn't. So you have to like, I don't know. And if you pull it out, it pulls out from that side. It's like, who, who did this? this? This is like old school stuff. This is what I like. See? Bracket. Or click thing and click thing. You pull all this like that. You slide the RAM in there. And you just push the RAM and it automatically clicks in. That's it. It's simple as that. But one side, like... <clears throat> this is honestly one thing that absolutely pisses me the fuck off about the new motherboards. I mean, how do you put the RAM like under the angle, like in there? It, it, it doesn't go like this. Guys, make the click thing on the other side. Anyway, I'm going to fit this motherboard in there and then I'm going to basically wrap this thing up so I will see you in a few seconds right so I've connected most of the stuff up the powering part there's no point showing you these just uh, click in in the power supply don't forget to connect this one if you have the same motherboard that goes into the motherboard well SATA connectors I connected the hard drives in there then this cable should go into the motherboard which I did forget uh, let's I don't know um, I think I'll put it from here. Just make sure this... Oh, okay. This doesn't have a bracket in there. Okay. really want to swap the power supplies, but what can you do? And just make sure you don't just push it because you might just break your motherboard in half. <laughs> I mean, it does have one screw in here and one in there, but still, it's better to like hold it with a hand. Hold hands with it! Uh, this, this, I don't know, I can't really put it anywhere. I don't like twisting the cables, it just puts tensions on the cables and I don't like it, so. So, let's, um, I think let's put RAM back in. Yeah, RAM is a good idea, so. I already showed it, that's the Corsair RAM. Right, um, the nightmare begins. I just hate these things so much. I think it went in there. I actually did have it on the main PC when I had this stuff in the main PC. I put the RAM in but it didn't properly click in from the bottom. Like, at the top, I think you heard that. The top clicks but the bottom it doesn't have the bracket, it just slides in and out like however it wants. So. Oh, I don't like it, they need to fix that. but. Uh, cable management can't really do much in here. Try to hide the cables a little bit. Just tuck them in a little bit. And well, the beast returns. Also, um, if you're connecting the motherboard up, it's always good to know these things. It's the connector layout for these things, the power switch, things like that. It's in every every motherboard manual, so if you don't know how to connect those, find it out from the manual, because that's very easy to do. Uh, and let's put this piece back in here then. I really wanted... What the hell was that? I really, really wanted this in line here. I can't see what I'm doing. I think that's it. It clicked in. See, it's like so... <coughs> wobbly. Don't let it go when you're putting it in. I'm saying that every time I build a PC. If you let the graphics card go, it's gonna just break your bracket off and that's it, so. It takes two screws and two screws it can have. 
this is really beast of a case I should make better uh, use of this like I don't know what but okay I guess I can let it go because it's done from here but um, I can't really do anything uh, don't do that but see I had to click it in there as it didn't properly click Right then, now let's connect the uh, power up. Actually, this is what I have this in here for, so um, we'll do the same thing. Just don't do it when you have the power on because this conducts electricity. Actually, no, I'm gonna put it right on the heatsink. Uh, this thing, if you're thinking, <laughs> what the hell is he doing? That's. Um, to lift the graphics card up guys so it doesn't break off from the bracket so let's just wrap it around and it's wrapped so I don't know how well you can see what I'm doing but uh, well, it broke off but doesn't matter so this is just it doesn't uh, fall down from here because the bracket ends in here the PCIe so and it's really heavy so a lot of people have broken their PCIe slots so I don't want to do that so I'll put this in here and finally we connect these things up these are like snakes coming from between somewhere but yeah my graphics card currently takes 8 and 8 so unfortunately I could not use this power supply even though this graphics card takes more power than the 980 because of the architecture so this is why I wanted to use this power supply and other PC, but um, I can't really put the cables anywhere. I mean, where, where I'm going to put them? But I think that's that's it with this PC, so upgrade complete. And that's the final result. So we already saw this one on the other video, so it runs nice. And what I wanted to show you, I don't know if I can open it properly. Uh, this is what I was talking about. These are the... Um, hard drive coolers, the heat sink, so as you can see this bay is really really wide <laughs> that's holds my SSD <laughs> don't say a word, I can't bother putting it properly I should take the other, other side off, this side off and just screw it uh, somewhere in there but I just can't bother, it's a bit dusty and stuff so I'll just turn the light off but that's how it looks from inside I also have a dust filter in here in case you don't know about that and you can lock it with a little key in here, so you can't open it. You can take the key out if you want, but it doesn't really matter. And yeah, that's the final result then. I can't connect this monitor up because it's a piece of shit old monitor and it just doesn't have the right connector and I don't have the right con uh, the converter, so... The temperature is a bit high, I'd say. The CPU runs 38, so I don't think I can um, put it under stress with that cooler. Maybe I can, it's still better than the stock one, uh, but no. But yeah, that's the final result, so that's that's a beast of a PC, pretty much. FX8350, uh, which I've had over two years. It can still run all the latest games, so. But that one, i7. i7 Skylake! <laughs> 60 uh, 700k actually so and that's the magical bolting in there but anyway i will see you next time <laughs>